Today we're sliding back into the cockpit of a T-180 to check out the major update for Zero Gravity Racing game, Omega Pilot. Omega Pilot is a game a lot like F-Zero or Wipeout, but strapped to your face, and a lot more intense. I made a first impressions video and an in-depth review for Omega Pilot back when it first launched in early access on May 12th, so if you're not exactly sure what this game is or you want to know more about it, make sure to click up in the top right corner of this video. But let's talk about the details of this update. Well, actually there's been a few updates since I last checked out this game. There was a pausing feature now added to the game which I know should have been in it before but now it allows you to easily pause mid-race and restart or go back to the menu if you have to. There was left-handed controls added so you can go ahead and pilot your ship as well as control your throttle with your left hand. There was some sensitivity controls added for steering as well as a progressive steering feature which allows you to move slower and smoother around corners but you're not going to be setting any track records. Exekiss is still working on the development of the HOTUS controls to be integrated into the game, but I believe they are looking for beta testers still, so if you have this game and you have a HOTUS and want to try it out, make sure to go do that. Let's go ahead and take a brief look at all the tracks that have been added since we last played the game. First up is Factory. This is a map where you race through different alleyways behind factories. You have to dodge debris laying on the ground, as well as having to fly through cement piping. This is a fairly simple track, but it has a fast pace to it that might take a little bit of time to master. Refinery. Refinery gives me a lot of the same vibes as Factory, but in this one you're racing through different buildings themselves, flying through old broken piping and iron bars laid out to create a track for you to drive through. Launchpad is a pretty simplistic flat track that I feel is aimed at newer racers in Omega Pilot. It doesn't really offer anything special or unique from the other track, but at least it doesn't send you spiraling around trying to hold on to your lunch. Golden Wind is up next, which looks like it takes place in Italy. It has a nice design, but the course is extremely tight, making it a nice challenge for you to try and master. It has a really cool downwards pipe section and some cool lighting reflections off of the waterfall in the map. We have Ghost City, which gives me some straight cyberpunk vibes. It has a lot of cool holographic projections outside of the map and a bump and soundtrack to bat. The track itself is another flat course, but it's fast and has a lot of turns so you have to make sure you get your throttle control down pat. Eye of the Storm and Olympus share the same track layout but have very different atmospheres and music to them. In Eye of the Storm, you got some hard rock for headbanging while you're whipping it through the track. You have lightning flashing everywhere, a tornado tearing it up outside with windmills spinning violently and a red glow lighting up your pathway all across the track. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game due to its pure insanity. Then we head on over to its sister map, Olympus, and you get a whole new vibe. A beautiful blue sky, a nice calming soundtrack, you get to fly through the heart of some fluffy looking clouds and take in the sights of some different aircraft carriers that are hovering in the sky. The track layout is exactly the same as Eye of the Storm, just worlds calmer. Paradise Resort is another one of those classic style maps that just works. It has some beautiful visuals, some good twists and turns, and a pretty cool chiptune soundtrack. Hong Kong. This one feels like you're racing through the heart of a futuristic China and is one of the new maps that came out with the official release of Omega Pilot. You can bob and weave through alleyways and across bridges while dodging light poles and finding those perfect straightaways to pick up speed. This is another one I found myself playing over and over again because it just felt so smooth. And last but not least, Hoikadaler. Hoikadaler is the main level that was added in for the release day tournament. This map is filled with a bunch of geysers and flower fields. There's a snake turn road that leads to a steel pipe that you have to spiral through and then come out dodging some Stonehenge-like structures. On top of all this, like I stated earlier, Exicus is having a tournament right now that's sponsored by Kiwi that you can go in and participate and win prizes throughout this next month. All you have to do to participate is log into the game and click on the tournament section and start racing. So what do you think about Omega Pilot? How does it stack up as a zero gravity racer and do you think this is an area that needs to be focused on more in VR? I personally think that as far as competitive esports go, right now we really only have shooting games so it would be cool to see a section of that esports dedicated to some VR racing games like Omega Pilot. Thanks again for watching everyone, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, stay beautiful and remember, never give up. Peace on out. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart, I don't die, I'm a fight. I go down, then I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah.